Hello, my name is John Rose. In this video, I'd like to take a closer look at water fasting and juice fasting and whether we should combine the two in any way. Well, on a water fast, we are turning our body into an eating machine. On a juice fast, we turn our body into a cleansing machine. On a water fast, it takes about three days before we kick in what's called autolysis and ketosis. Normally our brain lives exclusively off of glucose, but on a water fast, the body knows what it's doing. It knows how to survive. It knows how to switch the brain from using glucose to fat. It's called ketosis. This is an emergency mode that we can use. It's a backup system for the body when it can't get the glucose it needs because it's not eating. So, there, the ketosis is not a way of life. <clears throat> it's a backup system and it doesn't have a backup system. A lot of people are using this for weight loss or whatever because they really don't understand what's going on. If you're ever going to use ketosis, the way you'd want to do it is by doing a water fast. So what happens after three days on nothing but water, <clears throat> usually it's by the fourth day, what we perceive as hunger disappears. Uh, our brain switches over from burning sugar to fat, ketosis kicks in, and then autolysis kicks in autolysis kicks in and that's a self-digesting mode and it's the same principle that we see all throughout nature when bears hibernate or salmon and penguins migrate and when they breed when they reproduce uh, when a when a caterpillar turns into a butterfly it's the same process that happens in the body the body in its wisdom knows what to do when it's sick we instinctively know to stop eating so water fasting is very powerful in fact, before I ever did my first juice fast, or juice feast as I like to call it, or solid food vacation, I had read just about every book I could find on water fasting, especially from Herbert Shelton. And he had, he had a lot of experience in this. He supervised over 50,000 water fasts. So he knew what happens when you stop eating food and how the body turns into a cleansing machine. But he had his limitations like a lot of people. And... Uh, didn't really understand that in many cases the juice fast is actually superior. So the difference between a water fast and a juice fast is we don't kick in autolysis on a juice fast. We don't kick in ketosis. We don't have to take a vacation from life like you do on a water fast because you can't work and do this. You don't have any extra energy. But on a juice fast you can not only work but you can work and do it better. You can handle stress better. People say, oh I can't do this now. I got too much stress in my life. This is the way you can deal with stress better. This will, this, if, you, if you're struggling with work and you can't come up with some ideas, do a juice fast and you'll be amazed what happens in a short period of time. Now, one of the, very, the very first book I read that turned me on to this direction was a book by Pavel Areola called Are You Confused? And he talked about juice fasting in that book and then I got his book on juice fasting. And, and, and he understood the difference between the two <clears throat> and believed that the juice fasting was superior. And yet he wasn't doing it right. He was only consuming about a half the amount of calories that we need. And he also was under the false belief that autolysis kicks in. Now, Dr. Gabriel Cousins had Pablo Areola as a mentor and is doing the same juice fasting protocol that uh, Areola did. And it's not enough juice. You got to drink more juice. That's why at the Tree of Life, you can't work and do a juice fast at the same time. But if Gabriel, if you drink twice as much as juice, your students and your employees could actually work twice as hard and better if you provided twice as much juice. So it's not the same thing the water fast and the juice fast. You don't get autolysis on a juice fast. And that's why you never want to combine the two, at least every day. You don't want to say, I'm going to incorporate juice fasting with water fasting. I'm going to drink a half gallon of water, half gallon of juice. No, that's a mistake. The biggest mistake I see all the time, and this is an issue that comes up and has come up for almost ever since I've been in this. A lot of people are under this impression that it's better to combine the two. Should I combine the two? Well, on a daily basis, no. It's got to be 100% juice, 100% water. And remember, on a water fast, the benefits don't kick in until day four. So now let's take a look at whether we should combine, we should combine fruits and a water fast and a juice fast within a week. No, <laughs> because it's going to take three days to kick in autolysis. Why would you do a, a water fast? For, and this is what a lot of people do, a water fast for two days and juice fast for five. No! The benefits of water fasting aren't going to happen until day four. You're not doing any benefit by doing a water fast for two days and then going to juices. You're better off sticking with juices the whole time. 
Now, if we look at whether we should combine a water fast and a juice fast in a month, now we're talking about something that might make sense. Might make sense to do uh, two weeks on water or one week on water or 10 days on, on water and then do the juices or do the juices and the water fast. You can mix that up in any way you want to. And there may be some advantages to that because the water fast is a deeper type of cleanse and can cleanse in a way that the juices can't. But then the juices can do things the water can't. With the water fast, we're not getting nutrients we need to neutralize and eliminate toxins. And we live in a very toxic environment right now. So if you're doing a water fast, you better make sure you clean out some metals in your body before you do this to make sure that you don't damage your body when the body tries to get rid of those uh, and you don't have the nutrients you need. So there's a time and a place to do a water fast over a juice fast, and there's a time and a place to do a juice fast over a water fast. And in most cases, I believe the juice fast is the best way to go. And I say that because most people don't have the luxury to take a vacation from life and from work and realize that when we do a three-week water fast, it takes three weeks to recuperate. So that's six weeks out of your life just to do a three-week water fast, and that probably won't be enough to accomplish what you need. Most people need to go about three months on nothing but juices if you're at least 30, 40 years of age, if not longer, to really take your life to another level. So the juice fast can do things a water fast cannot do. And the main thing it can do is it can offer people something that they are willing to do. Most people are not willing to do a water fast, not to mention the fact that most people are, are scared to death of it because we have this false belief about hunger. I call it the hunger spell. And what happens when we eat the wrong foods, it's like a drug. And when we don't get our drug, we have a withdrawal symptom. And that's what the all gone gnawing feeling in the stomach is. It's a morbid sensation. It's, that's not what true hunger is. A true hunger is a water in the throat. So I understand why most people would be afraid of doing a water fast and even possibly a juice fast or a juice feast. And that's because everyone knows what it's like to miss one meal. Oh my God, the horror. What would happen if, if I missed 10 days in a row? That's 30 meals. Oh, I couldn't even imagine how painful that must be. It's just incomprehensible. And I know that's what I'm sure most people think. But that's not what happens. When people do a water fast, they can be on death's door just about. They can't even move, they have no energy. And then three weeks later, you see them skipping around with all this energy. How can that be? Because the body kicks in autolysis. It gets rid of the cause of most of our problems. Most of our diseases are, are due to toxicities and deficiencies, and toxicities are the big one. And that's what the water fast addresses and the juice fast. But the water fast doesn't address the deficiency issues except for those that are due to toxicities and a lot of deficiencies are actually due to toxicities. Iron is a good example. But the juice fast, man, you're addressing deficiencies in a way water fasting could never even dream of. In fact, it's impossible to, to eat 20 pounds of produce a day, but you could juice that much and you're not going to need that much more than likely. But the point is you can consume that much nutrition and, and not expend any energy for it. Obviously, we're not getting everything else we need because we don't live in an ideal world anymore. Remember, there's two groups of needs we must satisfy. If you're way up north, you might not be getting any sunshine. You need some vitamin D. <clears throat> but that, to me, tells me you should move. Come down where you're supposed to be. And, uh, and I realize that can't be done for a lot of people. But nonetheless, there are two groups of needs we have to satisfy. We have to be aware of that. We have to realize that we can be extreme about this if we think all we have to do is just eat the right food and exercise and everything else. We might be damaged somehow. We might not be making B12. We may not be uh, making DHA. And those are the two things that killed uh, T.C. Fry and Herbert Shelton respectively. They didn't understand the ripple effect. They didn't understand they had another group of needs. And they had those two deficiencies. So. You have to be aware that there are these two groups of needs and there are really only, how do I want to say this, uh, three ways, I guess I'll say it this way, there are three ways to correct five main mistakes and when we, sat, when we, and when we satisfy these two groups of needs, there's a lot of mistakes we, we need to correct. But the point I'm trying to make here uh, is that those five big mistakes we're making are at the top of the list. And when we go about solving our problems, most of us don't put all five of them on top of the list. So what does a water fast and a juice fast have in common? Well, they're both solid food vacations, and they both correct five main mistakes. 
And there are two of the three ways to correct the five main mistakes. The other way is to eat a raw vegan diet. The problem is most people, the masses aren't ready to eat a raw vegan diet. Most of them aren't, eat, aren't ready to do the water fast. So that's where the juice fast or the juice feast or, or my solid food vacation comes into play. And I have a seminar down below in the description box if you haven't seen my videos yet. And you can click on to the first of my three-step process. And it's a two-hour seminar on how to do this. If you're not motivated to do it yet, listen to the Dr. Roba interview and watch me on the Deborah Duncan Show with six of my students. Very motivating stuff. This is life transforming on levels you just won't believe. Because the juice fast can do things other things can't do. It can get us to the tipping point. It can get our attention and get all of us to wake up. And I've said this a thousand times and I'm going to have to keep saying it because if we don't reach the tipping point, things are never going to change on our planet. Never before in the time of history has there been a need for a lot of us to do something to get everyone's attention. Because most of our problems are self-inflicted and we don't know that. But it, it wouldn't take much if one out of ten people was doing this and everybody would go, oh my God, did you see Jerry and Bob and Mary and look at them, oh my God, the transformation. I'm telling you, this world could transform so fast, it's, an, it, it's really exciting to think this could happen within ten years if we got our act together. So you can play a role, in fact you do play a role. All of us play a role when it comes to solving these problems. All of us have to realize that we have to be the best that we can be. And that begins by understanding our lifestyle choices and making sure that we put those five big mistakes at the top of our list. The problem is, is a lot of us aren't going to believe they're all mistakes. And if you correct all of them and you see great results, then you go, all right, um, I can't believe the results I got. I wonder if all of them are mistakes. So at that point, you can say, well, let me try making this mistake and see what happens, then this mistake and see what happens. And if you go the distance on a long juice fast or juice feast, what you're going to do is reset your whole feedback system. And your body's going to scream at you and go, that's not food. What are you doing? And, and right now, we don't know that because we build up a tolerance to our mistakes. We've molested our taste buds, our tongue, our sense of smells diminished. And 90% of what we perceive as taste is smell. So when you go on a long juice fast, your, your sense of smell is going to come alive. Your, your taste buds are going to quiver when you eat the right food. And when you eat the wrong food, you're going to, it's going to make you feel like crap because that's exactly what it is. It's unnatural food. And it's like the person who smokes cigarettes. They cough initially, but what happens five years down the road? A couple pack a day smoker, not coughing at all get him off the cigarettes for a long time, long enough of a time and put him back on the cigarettes, he'll start coughing again. So that's what we want to do. We want to bring back our feedback system online so that we can rely on our own instincts to figure out what to eat. And as I mentioned before, it doesn't really matter how we correct these mistakes as long as we realize they're on our list to correct. And if you want to start off by just eating nothing but raw plant food, go for it. Uh, the only problem that takes a little bit longer, and uh, and, it's, and, it's, and 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 not enough people are willing to do it to get enough people's attention. So uh, we need everybody to play their role. If you choose water fasting over juice fasting, great. As long as you go to raw food, you're doing good. If you choose raw food instead of doing a water fast or juice fast, great. Good job. You're playing your role. You're being the best that you can be. And then if you uh, want to really make a difference on this planet, be a trim tab to society. Be in the first wave of heroes that gets everyone's attention by doing something that can get everyone's attention. That's where the juice fast comes into play. Go down below and look at the description box and you'll find a link to the first step. And I guarantee you when you do this, you're in for a treat.